Today, my quest has brought me to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. You know why I'm here, don't you? There's lots to see, but I'm looking for something specific. You know what I'm looking for, don't you? I can't seem to find the... Ah, yeah. You're way ahead of me, aren't you? Yeah. I'm looking for buffalo wings. Happily, there are lots of places in New York City that serve buffalo wings. These are good. But you know, sometimes you just have to go to the source. That was my plan, anyway. To head up to Buffalo to sample two things. Some original buffalo wings and some original buffalo brew. I was heading for the Buffalo Brew Pub, where, I was told, I could kill two birds with one stone, one of those birds being a chicken, and the other being a couple pints of fine, locally produced brew. Now, I like my buffalo wings hot, but is there such a thing as too hot? Well, apparently so, because I arrived for a lunch at the Buffalo Brew Pub only to find out that it had burned down the night before. Was it the wings? Were they just too hot? I may never know. But as I stood there in the parking lot and gaped at the horror of the tragedy that would keep me from savoring two of my favorite things, one of the locals suggested that I might salvage this expedition. Duff's was close by and is considered one of the preeminent wing joints in Buffalo. So, with the smoky scent of burnt brew pub still in my nostrils, I ventured into Duff's. Now, like I said, I like a spicy wing. I was ready to go full throttle, but I was warned, first by the staff, then by the copious signage, to beware. Remembering what happened to the Buffalo Brew Pub, I decided to let discretion be the better part of valor and ordered the medium hot. Well, let me tell you, they were right. These were hot wings. Scalp and eyelids sweating hot. I needed a little help. Help from something golden and frothy. Hey, I was even willing to go mainstream here, but then, wait, could it be? Were my lids sweating eyes deceiving me? No, Duff's locally microbrewed ale. It rushed to my aid, filling my glass with golden goodness. I was malty and hoppy, and had enough character to stand up to the aggressive wings with ease. Okay, quick reality check. First of all, the beer wasn't made at Duff's. It wasn't even made by Duff's. But it was made for Duff's by custom brew crafters in nearby Honeyway Falls, New York. They make beer for a lot of different brew pubs and restaurants in the upstate area. But that's a subject for a different episode. Secondly, I can't really tell you exactly what the beer tasted like. In all honesty, my tongue, along with my mouth and most of my face, was burnt beyond, well, any usefulness. In a good way, mind you, but I can't really report on the fine nuances of this beer. What I can tell you is that it sure felt good going down with those wings. And unless my spirit guide was lying to me, it tasted pretty good, too. <laughs>